hey guys welcome back to the channel so i have been using the nvidia geforce experience app for a while now and i recently switched to the new nvidia app beta but this problem that i'm talking about it is it exists in both of those applications so what happens really is you okay let me show you you go you go into the nvidia app so it does not matter if it's the nvidia app beta or the nvidia geforce experience app the layout is like pretty you know pretty like similar so uh, if you enter the nvidia app beta or the nvidia uh, nvidia geforce experience app so in the nvidia geforce experience app you basically you go to the this you know overlay you open this overlay you go to like there's an option of performance you enter the performance tab and then you go to the uh, performance settings and there you turn on automatic tuning so what it does is it runs this automatic tuning for about half an hour and then it uh, sets it basically adds uh, you know uh, like in uh, in my case it adds around close to 130 megahertz uh, you know frequency extra it adds a boost sort of you know to the uh, like to the core frequency of uh, your gpu and also the gpu memory it, um, in my case it adds around adds around 200 megahertz and okay in the case of nvidia app beta it's pretty similar so this works in both of you know both of the apps so basically you go to system then you go to performance okay you can see it's pretty similar now you can see right here i have turned on automatic tuning and you can see the gpu tune tuning is 130 megahertz added and the vram tuning is added 200 megahertz now in this issue what happens is you run the automatic tuning and then you play your games it's all fine if like personally i like to monitor my you know uh, gpu clock speeds and everything uh, starts on the like left side of my display so what happens is when you run this automatic tuning and you close the app and you play all your games and it works fine but once you turn off your computer once you shut down or once you restart and then you come back uh, you know and play your games again what you would notice is that your basically your gpu clock speeds and your vram clock speeds are just like reset to default i mean it's like the automatic tune is tuning just disappeared in it on itself okay so right now like i have resolved the uh, issue in my system that's why you can see like i just turned on my system for this video and you can see the gpu tuning is like it's working automatic tuning it's there but okay but with the issue it just disappears you know you'd see you'd see that the automatic tuning is on but in place of this you know gpu tuning this uh, this added frequency you'd basically see blank or a simple line there won't be any value so let me close this and quickly show you the solution so basically what happens is you know basically your nvidia app it's conflicting with one or the other sort of tuners or you know pre built apps which are there in the system or if you've downloaded any other tuner or or say maybe it can be an antivirus as well if it has some game mode or something so it's basically conflicting with that so what was happening in my case you know basically i'm using a gigabyte or a motherboard so with my system i got this gigabyte control center okay right now i have de i have in uninstalled it but i want to show you so what this does is this gigabyte control center it also has uh you know you can see here it has a performance tab and the perf and in the performance tab there is the gpu section where you know you can set it to like auto oc or uh, you know you can you can set it to oc scanner or boost clock you can see here so what this does is when you know the device restarts or the device you know powers up this nvidia app control center it opens on in, on itself okay so basically i was using this app to you know uh, sometimes to like uh, uh, play with the rgb and all that because it's it's an utility app it's supposed to be an utility app so i was using it for the rgb function basically mainly for that but you know while offering that it was also conflicting with my nvidia uh, geforce experience or now the nvidia app beta so i basically ended up uninstalling it and it like in a second it solved resolve the issue so what you're going to do is you have to basically uninstall this gigabyte control center or any other similar applications that are there in you know uh, with different uh, motherboard manufacturers it can be asus it can be uh, it can be msi and 
okay because what you're going to do is first you you'll have to try to turn off basically the oc you know mode and all performance mode in your app if it's there and if it's not there you can simply uninstall this because trust me this you know this does not really you know is of much use what i ended up doing is for the rgb function i basically ended up downloading this rgb fusion application i'm going to show you it's right here i ended up downloading this rgb fusion 2.0 and it works just fine all right so i hope that helped guys uh if it did help you don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more sort of you know such videos okay guys see you in the next one